guys and in this video you will learn how to make a realistic lightning storm effect inside After Effects. What's up everybody, it's Isaac here from Isaac Productions and today I will teach you guys how to make a realistic lightning storm effect inside After Effects. First I want you guys to go to the link in the description below and download the assets you need for the effect. It's a Google Drive link. First shoot a sky footage, you can have some trees and stuff in the video, it's totally fine. And make sure the sky is not blue. Shoot the footage on a cloudy day when it, the sky is white. Now if you finished all these steps, let's head right to After Effects. First open the file you downloaded, then go to Lightning Strikes and Burst folder. Choose the lightning you want and import it to After Effects. Then import the heavy rain stock footage and the storm clouds overlay footage. Then import the footage you shot. When you got to After Effects, import the Cloudy Skies clip you shot and then go to Effects and Presets. Then search for the Brightness and Contrast effect and drag it to your Cloudy Sky shot. Then turn down the brightness of that clip, it just depends how bright is your clip. Then drag the Heavy Rain footage to your sequence. Drag it on top of your Sky footage. Then change the Blending Mode to Add. Then turn down that opacity of that clip, 65% will be good. Drag the storm clouds overlay to your sequence and change the blending mode to add again. Adjust the position and scale of the storm clouds footage and add your lightning footage to the sequence. Then adjust the timing of that clip and stay on the point where the lightning is the clearest and longest. Then adjust the position of that lightning. Adjust the timing of that storm clouds too. Start drawing a mask around the objects in your clip. For example, I have a mountain in my shot and I want the lightning to be behind the mountain, so I will create a mask for my lightning footage. Draw the mask around the mountain, the point where the lightning ends and need to be the most precise. Then for finishing touches, add an adjustment layer to your sequence. Apply the brightness and contrast effect to the adjustment layer. Then enable keyframes for your adjustment layer. First when the lightning is almost visible, click on the add keyframe button. Then when your lightning is most visible, change the brightness setting brighter and when your lightning just disappears, change the brightness back to zero. That's how you do it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.